chemical filtration? What is it? What does it do? Will my fish die if I don't have chemical filtration in my aquarium? Is it an absolute must? Well, to answer these questions and a bit more, see you on the other side. Hello, cichlid lovers. Welcome back to uh, my channel, Sick Nation. And uh, today I will be talking to you guys about chemical filtration. Now, what is chemical filtration? What is filtration? Well, to put things uh, to perspective, filtration is basically cleansing of the environment for your fish. Like we humans need fresh air, fresh water, fresh food, fresh clothes. Well, the least that we could do for our beautiful fish buddies here is keep clean water. Now, today I will talk about a chemical filtration that I always wanted uh, to start with because I've never had chemical filtration in my aquariums thus far. It's been almost a year or a little more than a year that I've been in the hobby. Uh, my beautiful Africans and my beautiful Americans back there, if you can see, um, they have been really, really satisfied. They've been happy with me so far. Uh, which really, you know, I can pat myself on the back for. Uh, so this time, I wanted to upgrade my level of uh, expertise and move to a chemical filtration media. And that is, ladies and gentlemen, ta -da -da! Whoa. CCAM, Purigen. Right, um, it's a super absorbing uh, uh, absorbent, which you know absorbs all insolubles, hard metals that are there in your aquarium or my aquarium as of now, uh, and it captures them, uh, and it it runs for about a month, thirty days in your filter, uh, and as it says on the back of the cover, uh, you know exhaustion is indicated by a pronounced discoloration of the beads to dark brown or black so when you see that uh, it's, it's kind of darkened up it's time to not replace it but recharge it right uh, there are other brands who come who make an, uh, chemical filtration um, you know the easiest one would be uh, activated carbon but uh, the problem with activated carbon is that uh, it runs again for about a month or so 30 days 30, 30 to 40 days and then it's of no use. It loses its absorption capacity and you cannot uh, recycle it, recharge it, reuse it. You'll have to throw that away uh, and put in fresh activated carbon. Now, I personally have never used activated carbon, uh, carbon in, in my aquariums thus far, um, but I now want to upgrade and see uh, what difference can chemical filtration make to my aquarium water because it because this um, sea can purigen also claims that it uh, polishes water to unparalleled clarity i'm reading from the back of the cover i'm not making it up uh, because let's let's understand i'm not getting paid by sea chem or by anybody for that matter so here's the deal in your aquarium uh, filtration system uh, be it a canister or a hang on the back your first level of filtration should be a mechanical filtration which is basically your sponges and uh, filter floss uh, and then, uh, you know, you should have your chemical uh, layer of filtration, whatever it is, uh, Purigen or, you know, uh, ChemiPure or uh, uh, activated carbon, whatever you want to use as chemical filtration, uh, that should be the last thing that your water touches before entering uh, the aquarium again, right? So remember that uh, it's always mechanical first and then chemical if you have chemical. Uh, filtration. Uh, what about biological filtration? Well, it's available everywhere in the aquarium, on the surface of your glass, on the substrate, on the decor, of course in the sponges inside. Uh, if you have ceramic rings or bio balls, well, uh, they are just about enough surface, a surface area for uh, all the good bacteria or beneficial bacteria to grow. So that's the deal. Mechanical first, chemical next. Let's head straight to opening this pack and uh, see how it gets installed into my hang on back filters. Uh, 
and then if it works or not I'll be able to tell only after a month. So the purigen is finally in, uh, in one of the hanging bags uh, here in this tank and one uh, in this one uh, that you see there, my Africans. Uh, let's take a look inside. So this is my three feet uh, uh, American cichlid tank, Central and uh, South American. I have three hang on backs filter running parallelly on this tank. Uh, that's RS Electrical. It's again in, made in India, which is nice. Uh, I have not had problems with it. It's a, it's a, it's a very good um, hang in the back filter. RS products are generally usually good guys, right? So I'm sure you know it. Uh, this is uh, the Dauphin H500. And uh, this is where my, where my, Purigen is there it is there's the bag right and now uh, let's take a look at uh, the Africans um, again I have a pretty similar setup I have three hang on the backs running uh, on my African tank uh, all our HOB 500s so it's got its own uh, mechanical filtration and uh, right now chemical filtration as well because I have my purigen right here. There you go. Right, right let me put this back. So that's all for now folks. Um, my chemical filtration is installed. I'm looking so looking forward to it. Um, I hope you liked uh, this video. I would appreciate feedback um, or any suggestions that you might have in terms of, because I'm new to this, I'm making these videos uh, for everybody who wants to have a look at somebody's fish keeping experience. Right. So subscribe to my channel, Sick Nation, and um, I promise you, I'm gonna come up with uh, really nice videos and a lot of interesting information. So, wow.